Hey guys, um, we're going to learn the Hales Bells um, intro. Um, the you know the the riff that everybody recognizes from that. And um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first off, you're going to play a power chord up here in the seventh and ninth frets. Uh, if you don't know already, a power chord is basically this formation that you see played a lot in rock and roll. They all look the same. You can move them up and down. But basically, it's your first and third finger for these two note power chords and your first finger is going to go in the seventh fret of the D string okay seventh fret of the D string and your third finger is going to go in the ninth fret of the G string so we've got these two notes ready to go okay now our first note is actually going to be Oh wait, I need to mention this too. Your first finger is going to also play double duty. When you, sometimes you're going to be lifting your third finger, your first finger is going to need to bar or flatten out across the D and the G string. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. So your third finger is going to be in the ninth fret of the G, first finger in the seventh fret of the D string. Now our first note is actually going to be on the A string. So that's our first note. Okay. Our second note is going to be this note, the G string in the ninth fret. And then our third note is going to be the one our first finger is on, the seventh fret on the D string. Okay, so play those three notes again. Okay, then we're, this is where we're going to lift up <clears throat> our third finger. And now our first finger is playing the G string in the seventh fret. Okay, so let's put those notes together. Okay, then we're going to keep coming down to the D string and then the A string again. Okay, let's play that slowly together. Okay, one more time. Just slide our first finger back. Let me play this. Actually, let me play this again to see where I'm at. All right. Then we're gonna yeah we're gonna slide back to the fifth fret, still barring across the uh, G string and the D string. And we're gonna play the G string fifth fret. Then D string fifth fret. Just remember this one's uh, holding both of those down. So. And then we're going to come back up to the seventh fret again and play the G string and then play the D string in the seventh fret too. And then two times on the A string. Or actually, it's just one time, but we're going to. The second time is us actually starting over, so you do plug it two times in a row. Um, so basically, if that got a little confusing, follow along with me slowly. A string, G string, D, back to G, but you're going to lift up your third finger and make it fifth fret. Fifth fret on the D, open on the A, slide down. I'm sorry, that wasn't fifth, that was seventh. Um, but we're going back to the 5th fret now. So 5th fret on the G, then 5th fret on the D, and then open on the A, and back up to 7th on the G, 7th on the D, and open twice on the A. Okay, now that was one time through. The second time through is pretty much the same, except the end changes a little bit. Okay, and you'll see if I play through it twice, you'll see the ending change. Right here we go. So we changed that a little bit. So um, let's work on that second ending. Okay. So we just played this far, or sorry, now we're 
on the second time through. So we're going to play this the same way. So. Right there on that note is where we're going to switch to our second ending. So we end on the seventh fret of the G string and go to the power chord on the eighth and the tenth frets here. So third finger is playing tenth fret on the A, first finger is playing eighth fret on the E string. You're going to strum that power chord, strum both notes at the same time. Then you're going to drop your first finger, but your third stays where it's at. Okay, and then you actually start over because you go to an open A here and start right back. Okay, so let me go through that whole thing a couple of times, but I'll go slowly and then a couple of times faster. Okay, so slowly. Let me make sure you can see here. Okay, hopefully this view will help you a lot. start over. Okay? Now a little faster, so you can play along with it, is this. Or sorry. Okay? And full speed. that one helped you and um, if you have any questions you can uh, email me at feedback at Mike's Guitar Lessons .com. Um, uh, and also don't forget to visit the website uh, www